Cheers. I'm Paige Knutson Coles, one of the owners of Knutson Vineyards. This is David Ford, my colleague. Good morning. And we are here to talk about our new wine series called the Talking Blocks. We have 125 acres planted and producing here on Knutson Vineyards. We've been on the same piece of property for almost 50 years, having started the vineyard in 1971. So we have a lot of different blocks, 38 total blocks on the vineyard that have been planted at different times to different clones, at different elevations, different aspects. We thought it would be great to take very specific blocks on the vineyard and blend them together to make a wine from a very specific location. So from the 2018 vintage, we were able to produce two talking blocks. With our inaugural production of the 2018 Backstory and the 2018 Snapshot. So David, where we are is in proximity of block six and seven, which are both in the backstory of, um, of our talking block series. Block six is Pomard and block seven is 777, both of which were planted in 2007. Mm. So with that, um, the Pomard is what we call a heritage clone mm. and is quite um, distinct, very structural, can be meaty, chunky, dense, uh, black fruited, um, darker, and is often uh, a real workhorse clone for um, producers of Pinot Noir. The 777, it uh, brings earthiness and black fruited flavors like blackberry, cassis, um, some mushrooms, a little spiciness, and the combination we in this wine is 50% of Pomard and 50% of the 777, so they're evenly balanced uh, in this wine. Yeah, and the, the color of the wine is just it's stunning. It's that beautiful ruby red. It's clear and gorgeous, and uh, you know, it's it, it, the whole concept of the talking blocks is really quite interesting because these blocks do have stories to tell, don't they? And each of these clones, and with combining these clones together, they produce very interesting and complex uh, wines that tell the story of, of the place, of the terroir, yep. right, that we talked about earlier. So David, tell me what you find in the taste of the wine. Well, it's got, the fruit is really wonderful right up front, and, and the fruit to me, uh, there is some red characteristics, but it's more red raspberry and strawberry as compared to the red, red ripe cherry, which often gets placed in these wines. And then it goes into some darker fruit as well here, and the darker fruit uh, is more in the black cherry as compared to maybe a blackberry. So it's it's um, it's a beautiful uh, fruit array. It's great to drink young, but there's no doubt that this wine is going to age incredibly well because of the structure and the balance that it has. So uh, I think it's a winner, Paige. I agree, David. Well, Paige, so this is great. Why don't we head down to the snapshot blocks and you can tell us a little bit about those blocks. That sounds great, David. Now we're here at between block 12 and 13. These look like, uh, you know, not super old vines. So tell us the story behind these two blocks. Or it was it was originally planted in 1972. Oh, wow. And it was a, a large block for our vineyard, about 12 acres. And it had a little cell of phylloxera in it. So we took out everything in maybe 2011 and replanted on rootstock, which is resistant to phylloxera, in 2012. So both of these blocks were replanted in 2012. Um, the upper side to a clone that's called True 828, and the lower block uh, planted to 667. The 828 is 99 rows, and the, the 667 is 97 rows, so it's just almost exactly 50-50. Wow. wow. So David, uh, tell us what you find are the distinctions between Backstory and this wine snapshot. Mm. Wow, well first they're both great wines. Secondly, they are different. These different blocks offer different characteristics. So this snapshot is a lighter, more elegant wine. It doesn't have kind of the backbone, if you will, <laughs> interesting enough, of the Backstory. Right. Uh, this is a beautiful, delicate, um, what I often think of the Dundee Hills is when I think of wines like this. It's got redder fruit characteristics. It has it does have some nice spice, uh, but it's not overpowering at all. No. Uh, it's very elegant, and it's got it's got raspberry and cherry and um, yeah. I mean, it's it's delightful. And then and then the the mid palate 
It's got really very supple tannins, very much like the backstory. Uh, and the acidity on the back end of the palate is very soft and a kind of a gentle acidity. It's, yes. not, it's not like, it's not overpowering. So again, incredibly balanced wine, but a lighter style wine, right? And, and so this, this is a good expression of the difference between the Pomard, which tends to drive a, a bigger, meatier, more, uh, you know, more flavor-packed wine, versus this, which is more delicate, and, um, but very, very elegant. Very elegant, elegant wine. fruity without being over fruity. And again, this wine is going to be a, be able to age. I mean, this has got enough structure in it. Um, it'll be fun to see what it looks like in five years or, or even longer. We look forward over the years to producing wines from other blocks on our vineyard that we think are going to be equally as interesting and distinct. Cheers.